my now wife cheated less than a month into us dating, how do I move past this? However, please accept my apologies for the length of this letter. It was my intention to make it brief, so as not to bore you all with too much information. After two years of dating, my wife and I, I am 33 years old, decided to tie the knot 32 years old. To summarize our connection, we were both aware of one another via my sister, and our families had been friends for a long time, but we had never met in person before. We were however able to communicate with one another via social media and have a dialogue as a result. Because we lived in separate places, I purchased a plane ticket for her so that we could finally meet in person. During her visit, I also formally announced our relationship, which had developed as a consequence of our communication. Following that, we were engaged for a year. Then we were married for 1.5 years after that. We had been dating for approximately 2.5 years before. We decided to tie the knot. During this time period, my wife and I had been married for just a little over a month, and I was scrolling through my phone, searching for a meme that I'd given her a while before. After failing to locate it, I went to her home and browsed through her personal items. Considering that she was fast sleeping on the sofa, I didn't want to wake her up by getting up. Knowing she had entered her password a few times before, I didn't think it would be too difficult to look at her WhatsApp images, because that's how I got the meme to her, given my prior observation. Just to be clear, she often looks through the photos on my phone, which I don't mind since she's my wife, and, at the time, my girlfriend, and I have nothing to hide. Anyway, when browsing through her photographs, I came upon a picture of a de-asterisk CK in her book that I thought was amusing. Instantaneously, my stomach dropped, I'd been tricked by a prior girlfriend in the past, and I'd seen an improper picture of herself on her phone after she'd misled me. As a result, the red flags were not unfamiliar to me. I was obviously interested in finding out who had snapped the snapshot, so I began looking through her WhatsApp conversations to find out. Please allow me to be the first to admit that I'm not proud of what I did, but I've learned from my previous blunders that just inquiring about the image would not yield the truth. I'd want to thank you for your consideration. My quest to learn the truth led me to this location. Initially, after doing a thorough search, I was unable to come up with anything useful. Then I came across a conversation she had with her closest friend, in which she mentions a man we'll name Mark, who I instantly recognized as the person she was referring to. Despite the fact that I am familiar with the majority of her acquaintances, she has never brought up Mark in conversation, at least by name. Following this, she tells her friend that she had had unprotected relations with Mark and that she had just recently discovered, after they had, that Mark had become the father of another female child with a different woman. Our first exclusive date had taken place less than a month prior to the delivery of the message to you. As I kept reading, I discovered that she had been in a love connection with Mark previous to my coming on the scene, and that she had gone on dates with him before I arrived. He'd send her money, and they'd spend the rest of the time chatting about everything and everything they could think of together. This, according to what I've read, persisted throughout our relationship, even after I asked her to marry me. It was the fact that we were supposed to move in together only a few days earlier that caught me completely bought. Surprise, she got a job in my city about six months before our wedding. Her first encounter with him was on a date, and she later told a friend, everything in me yearns to have with Mark. The one to have relations with Mark permeates my whole being. It's safe to say that reading this made me feel nauseous. As a result, it was impossible for me to focus on anything else while I was seeing something so unbelievable. Millions of little portions of my spirit felt as if they had been smashed into a million pieces by this experience. However, I decided to pause a few days to consider what I should do with the knowledge I had acquired up to that point in time. Unless I admitted that I not only knew her password, but that I had also looked through the contents of her phone, I couldn't stand there in front of her any longer, all without her knowledge. In the course of reading, I snapped a few screenshots and then made the choice to confess what I had done and see her in person. So I came to the conclusion that if trust was going to be shattered, it needed to be harmed in both directions at the same time, and I set out to prove myself right. Consequently, one evening, I took her down to the basement and told her of my discoveries there. The fact that I had snooped through her phone infuriated her at first, but her anger swiftly turned to disgust at the de asterisk CK photograph. Her first denials were that it was nothing, and that he was simply a random stranger who had approached her. After learning about Mark via reading the chats she and her closest friend had, she was taken aback when I told her how I learned about him. After some back and forth, 
she ultimately confirmed that she had read what I had written. After that, she claimed that they only had one contact together, which I doubt, and that he was insignificant to her. We were exclusive at the time. It was also disclosed to me that Mark is married with children and that his wife had had a miscarriage only a few weeks before we met, making him the biological father of the children. We spoke about it for a long time, and she finally broke down in tears as she expressed her regret for what she had done. We knew it would take time, but we were both confident in our ability to move on from this scenario and go on. After that, she didn't say anything to me for the rest of the day. I inquired as to how she was feeling and whether or not she would be interested in continuing our conversation. It was either silence or the remark, I have nothing to say, that she gave as her most usual answer. She had been upset with me for snooping through her phone which I could understand, but what was even more unexpected is that she had not learned how I felt until much later. Neither she nor anybody else ever inquired about my well-being or inquired as to whether or not I was in good health. Can you tell me who cheated on whom? Here, as I glanced about, I couldn't help but wonder aloud. We had another lengthy discussion the next day and came to the decision that this was not advantageous to our relationship, and so we chose to move on from the situation. In the weeks that followed, my mind was swirling with ideas and inquiries. I couldn't help but wonder why she felt the need to keep her relationship with Mark continuing despite their differences. Why did she find anything about it to be insufficient to satisfy her? I communicated my goals to her and then took steps, a marriage proposal and a wedding, to make them a reality for both of us. Is she madly in love with Mark, or is she just a little bit in love with him? Whatever her claims, I'm perplexed as to what she is thinking when she continues to contact with someone she clearly dislikes in this way. She's still saying things like, everything in me wants to have with Mark, and everything in me wants to be with Mark, even though it's been two years. Another challenge is that it has caused me to rethink everything I have ever believed in the past. What if she hadn't confessed to me that she had cheated on me so soon after we started dating? Would we have been able to get married? Is she with me because Mark was unable to accompany us and I was the only other alternative available to her at the time? What if she is indeed over over heels in love with me, as she professes to be? Things that were never a concern in the past are now posing a threat to the public safety. Take, for example, the time she realized she needed some beverages and snacks while at a gathering with numerous friends, people with whom she regularly hangs out and asked that one of our male friends drive her to the store using his vehicle keys, which he did. It wouldn't have mattered if anything like this had happened before, but the fact that it has now occurred makes me feel envious and anxious about the situation. Why? Didn't she come to me first and ask whether she could bring her along with her before she left? At this time, it is unclear what exactly is going on between the two of them. I find myself keeping track of the passage of time in order to figure out how long they've been gone alone together and how they look when they return, among other things. It's a major source of irritation for me. This is a kind of thinking that I despise and oppose. The person I've become as a result of my dishonesty is someone I despise and despise myself. The feelings of anxiety I'm having toward her. The person I'm seeing is not me, and it's not who I want to be at this time in my life. If someone can help, please tell me how I may restore my trust in her again. What should I do if I find myself in this situation? In your opinion, what is the best course of action for me to take? Please accept my gratitude on behalf of everyone who has taken the time to read this.